Anyways, guys, hope you're well. So we're just gonna do one point perspective of a room. So this is a room that we're gonna kind of aim for. Door on the left, window on the right, and a table. So you can follow these directions, these steps directly if you like, or you can use the the, the steps and create your own version of it. So I'm gonna start off. So first off, this is an A3 sheet of paper. You can use whatever size of sheet of paper you can get your hands on. Um, all you really need in this is a pencil and a um, piece of paper. I have in this lesson though, I have a ruler, a pencil, and I have a marker. Um, the ruler is just so I can just show you, you can use tools when you're, you're doing your drawings. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a straight edge of a book if you'd like. And alternatively, you don't have to use a straight edge, you can use a free handed as well. Um, so, I'm going to use a pencil and a marker. In your case, you can use. Um, a pencil and a dark pencil and a light pencil. This I'm just using these so it's a bit easier to see in the video. So um sure I'll just use a have to still see the marker coming through that page. So we're gonna look for the line this up. So we're gonna look for the vanishing point. That's where the point the one point perspective is focusing towards. So instead of doing the horizon line which goes from left to right, halfway through the page, I'm gonna just do it slightly different. So I'm going to draw a line from the top left to the top right, sorry, the top left to the bottom right, and just draw a line connecting them. And the same here, so bottom left, top right. There. So wherever, where, where that interconnects, you have the vanishing point, so that's the center point. Um, so what we're going to do, the next step is we're going to have the back wall, so I'm just going to draw a square. Um, try to keep it as straight as you can. Um, if you don't get it um, straight first off, it's fine because there's going to be light pencils anyway. So, And I actually have an eraser here with me as well, just in case I do make mistakes, which more than likely I shall be doing. And as well, it's good. Um, I'll try to rub away um, the lines that we're, we're doing at the moment, the prep lines. And, um, just so it doesn't take away from the image itself. So there's the back wall. Next thing is, we're going back to the steps that we've been doing from all these types of videos. So vanishing point outwards. Okay, and vanishing points down, downwards. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these two lines I just created by drawing a vertical line. Try to keep as straight as you can. And this will be the door. So two lines, so that's the height of the door. Um, I'll actually do three lines. I'll do another one up here, and this will be the frame of the door. And what I'll do is I'll pick a point on this line I've drawn and draw it back to the vanishing point. Vanishing, vanishing point is the most important part of this, these drawings. And I'll actually extend the lines out here. There, kind of gives a bit more of a door. So look, door effect. So I'll just do, put in an ob there of the door, just to, just to confirm that. Then what we'll do is we'll make a window. So same deal, out from the vanishing point, up and out. Again, vanishing point, maybe not as uh, an acute angle, just a bit, bit, maybe even a bit flatter. There you go. So again, to make this window, I'm gonna just do a vertical line on the two lines that we've just drawn. And again, a bit further out. Instead of drawing a board around this, I'm gonna actually just draw a line going horizontal from the point that just meets the the horizontal, so the vertical line meets this acute angle. Just draw a, a line that's horizontal, an inch or two out. And again down here, and I'm gonna connect them up. Okay. And then I'll just start to darken these lines. So I'm just using the same line that I used to start, just darkening it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get from this corner, draw it parallel to the one I just drawn. See this point here, this point in over here you can't see because of the point uh, from the angle that you're standing. Okay, there you go. Next thing is then um, I will draw a rectangle in the center of this rectangle. And I will, it, it can either be a window or it can be a mirror or whatever. Um, 
this is the only shape in the whole drawing that, has, that doesn't actually connect to the vanishing point. And the reason is that it's it's on the same wall as the vanishing point itself, so it's just going to be sitting there idle. Everything else is touching off or is connected to it. Do you know what, I'll just draw a little frame around it just to, sh just to show you that. Grand. Next thing is I'm going to draw a table. So I'm going to do again vanishing point and downwards. Vanishing point and downwards and out. And all these lines are li are light. You don't uh, darken the light the lines yet. Okay, so I'll have one line there. I have another further down. I'll actually have another one down here as well. And this will be a little vertical line. So where this line meets this horizontal line, I'm just going to draw a line straight down. And the same over here, straight down. And then you're going to do the legs. So I'm going to draw a line along here. That's going to that's going to be the length of the leg. These two legs are going to be the same, so that's why I draw on that line there. There gives you a feel of of a, of a table. Okay, and then I will do something like what we've done before. So I'm going to draw a random square freehand, just to mix it up a bit. So what I'm going to do is use the rule of the object. So it's, it's just a square at the moment. To make this into a cube, I just basically what I've done in the past um, lessons, draw a line from the corner out to the vanishing point. Again, it's only a guideline, so it only has to be light. Back again, and then this corner here as well. So they're all now connected to the vanishing point. Now it has a three-dimensional three, three look. Uh, on this line, I'll just draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. So it's like an object. It looks like a box almost in the room. So like, And then what I'll do is... Do, do, I'll just land or put in floorboards here. So I'm going to pick, I say, every centimeter. I'll just do little dots along the dot line of the box. And what we'll be doing is kind of creating the idea, the feeling of a floorboard. So all you do is there's so you get a lot, get the vanishing point, draw a line through the from the vanishing point through the the line, the dot you've drawn. And the one just basically follow it across through it. It's when you can go through the table and stuff like that. We haven't gone through, we haven't darkened the lines. You, you can, you can erase it if you're finding it a bit complicated. There's too many lines, or you, you can't really see the drawing that you're doing. So like, if that's not really, if you do, you erase it if you're finding it confusing. To be honest, that's really all. Um, and all this should be easy enough to rub out as well. So I'm just gonna put in a light at the top there. Just keep it very simple. Okay. And in the background, I'll just put, um, no, uh, it's now a window. Sure, I'll put a boat in the background. Very crude, just to give you an idea. Um, and the same deal here, I'll do, say, a boat here. It's kind of going out of the, Okay, that's the, the main basis of it. I'll just go around now and start to darken things in just to confirm some of the lines I've just drawn. So, again, with this, you can just do your darker pencil. So, again, as I mentioned before, these are just guidelines. The steps are the same. If you want to create a room that you know or uh, just be creative and create a new room, you're more than welcome. They're the same steps. Or as alternatively, what you can do is you can use this as a basis of you. Um, no, by using these steps, you can just kind of make your own version of it. It's a good thing to be creative um, with these steps. Um, you can add people into it if you wanted. But the main things of the the main point of these po uh, one point perspective is the scale of everything. Things that are close to you. 
are big, every, things that are f sm uh, further away from you are small. So. And obviously then another thing you can do is add colour to it, or you can paint it even. So drawings basically are the kind of like the, the, the first kind of stage of creating, of create, creating anything. Um, and try not to press hard into the page when you're doing drum drawings either because it can embed the um it can embed the page and I find it difficult to actually rub out. It's not perfect, you can see some of the lines aren't exactly straight, but that's fine, look. Right. And lastly, let's do this window over here. point perspective can be quite challenging and um, sometimes you have to rethink it and that's why I suggest to do um, just do it in pencils before you um, start confirming the lines with marker or in your case a darker pencil so it gives you an idea of the, of the room um, just lastly I'll just do the floorboards again this is, a, this is a design you can choose to or not to put in and again, if you have a sketchbook, I suggest do it into the sketchbook just so you can keep your drawings all together and you can see the development for yourself, how you've gotten over, on over the past few weeks or months. It's a good resource to have as well. I find myself going through some of my sketchbooks to get some ideas of new ideas and new drawings that I might have forgotten in the past. Um, so lastly... Right, so that's it, uh, and the last one, the last line here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, very, very lastly here. I don't want these li these videos to go too long because it's, it seems like there's an awful lot more information than there is. We're just going through some of the techniques we've been doing for the past while. So there you go. <clears throat> one point perspective of a room. Um, same techniques as we've been doing in the last few weeks. Um, I rub away the, the guidelines. And obviously add colour, add, add different kind of details to it, make it your own. There you go. So that's it. So yeah, give it a go, test yourself out. Um, try different um, try different things, test it out. Like you put people into the room and everything else like that. Um, but most importantly, enjoy it. Right, I'll let you go. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.